Hey guys, I'm pre feeling pretty lazy right now, but I will still do this formally ish for you guys. Uh, man, uh, sorry. I'm saying uh a lot apparently. Should I be worried about this? But, <clears throat> uh, so Legend of Korra, book four, episode four, The Calling. So, overview, just like, uh, I'm not, not getting into like the big review, but just like a, just some, uh, I'm a, from what I gra got grasped from this, Milo's a, Milo's a jerk, Jinora is awesome, Iki's pretty awesome, Toph is, Toph, there's no other adjective to describe her than Toph. Well, there you have it. <laughs> but no, so. Alright, so we start out with, um, uh, you know, the the kids. They set out on their adventure. You know, me and those are like, we live off the land. Ah, uh, this was off much. I, I didn't like Milo in this episode. Sorry. But, uh. And, uh. Pepper. Janora has a bison named Pepper. I did not know that. Pepper. Yeah. Pepper. I love Pepper. <laughs> but uh what else happened? But yeah, um Milo Milo apparently is a um uh, a fan artist. Had a little bit bit of fan art from from for of Cora right there. So uh yeah, don't uh don't know when he acquired those skills. It looks like uh Riptide Fireman has a bit of an a bit of a rival considering she won the uh, whole drawing competition. I came in second. I came in second with my Momo League pick. The Momo League. Momo Well, I do like the Momo League better than the Northern Air Temple Lemurs. The Northern Air Temple Lemurs won. Proof that air is the superior element. Yes! Yes! Air is, air is the superior element. It has been proven. Fire gets second place, Earth gets third place, and water gets last place. Take that, champ. Oh man, Diane's gonna throw me in the hole now. Ah oh, man, I'm I'm making this too too much directed towards the people towards, towards the purple lotus and out team out of our community. I am sorry. I need to get back on topic of the episode. Get the slimy ones. They're the tastiest. When I heard that line, I was like, Ugh. I don't like mushrooms in general. And then saying slimy ones just, Ugh. I mean, really, really. Oh, and the banyan goat tree with the whole, you know, finding her friends and all. Yes! 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 And when the Avatar spirit was connecting with the, with the, um, uh, The swamp, and Jinora was in the swamp, she felt it as if those two spirits had a connection. Iroh is reincarn a reincarnation of Iroh. It is the truth. Abdu it is the truth. All, uh, all, all people who say no, you are wrong. You are very, very wrong. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, that I'm awesome. Um, uh, but no, so... And... Uh, <laughs> Milo apparently got a new ship. Uh, I can't remember the girl's name. I'll rewatch the episode, figure it out. So like, so um, but I'm on board. <laughs> hey, who else are we gonna do with, with Milo? It's gonna it's gonna be shipped with Milo. So yeah, Iki needs a ship now. Ro Rohan and Iki need a ship. No, not Rohan. Rohan's three. He doesn't need a ship. <laughs> Janora's got a ship. Kainora. Kainora forever. I could scream if I want to. I'm the only one here. Yeah. So yeah, it's just that's really what all this episode really was. Was um, uh, you know, the kids go and look for Cora, and Cora, you know, connects. Like she gets the she overcomes her strength. You know, she gets the metal poison out. She re-enters the Avatar state. 
she see she let go of the pain from season one with Amon, season two with Unalak, and then season three with the Red Lotus. Um, uh, Iki, when she was with the soldiers, that reminded me a lot of um, uh, book two, Civil Wars, when Iki was with the Sky Bison. When she was with the baby, the baby bison. <laughs> you just... I don't know why he did, but I just did. Like, you know, she's like, like just like, and they're trying to, I'm a, you know, jerk her since she's little, a bit naive. Like, so, like, just take us back to your camp. Nah, I don't want to see my brother and sister. Because she's kind of mad. I'm like, I want to hang out with you guys. <laughs> and there's that one guard just like, yeah. Oh, Iki, you're the best. <laughs> you know, the mustache is just like, mm. <laughs> That part was just perfect. And apparently, Zaofu is the only Earth Empire stronghold left. They've gotten Omashu. Maybe Omashu agreed because of, um, uh, so, just because, you know, for Unity, like, they were the first ones that they went to. Like, like here, just sign, sign this. You're going to be in complete... And they told whoever the king was at the time. Whoever the new king is. Why? Oh, oh, that just reminded me. Boomy's dead. Boomy is dead. Oh, no! No! No, Boom... I refuse this. And they gave King Boomy... They just, they just told Boomy, like, you know... Um, uh... Yeah, here's was like... Well, righty then! <laughs> Boomy is still the king of Omashu. He, um, uh, no, no one replaced him. It's still Boomy. And so Zaofu is the only one left. I think we're, um, uh, we're gonna see that clip from the trailer with Su Yin and, uh, Wi Wei, Wing and Wei and, um, uh, the mechs. And they're gonna be fighting Kuvira. Or either that or they're forced to because they could not hold them off. And therefore they're forced, forced to fight for Kuvira. I don't, I, I one of those. Yeah, Kuvira, Sue, Sue and um, uh, Batar Jr., they do not like each other. C can Batar Jr. earthbend? I don't think he can. You know, Kuvira can. Because, <laughs> uh, Kuvira. General Starchild loves Kuvira. <laughs> I mean, he... General Star... You get General Starchild an episode of Kuvira, he's just like, Oh, Kuvira! <laughs> I don't know why he does. He loves Gavira, apparently. Our so so my favorite Avatar villains are Gazan and Unalak, but you know, I mean, eh? A lot of people really like Gavira. I'm a I'm a I've, and I've my friend uh, Abraham. He's a uh, he's a Gavira supporter. Not me. Woo, Prince Woo. And I'm just gonna and I'm gonna go Elizabeth Ross style and spell it with W O O. But, uh, death to Usami. Death to Usami. But, ooh! Ah, oh, man, what else happened in here? Milo, Milo the jerk. Yeah. Milo, like, I blame, like, Iki, I blame you. Why do you blame me? Uh, it's like, well, it's not my fault. And then he just, like, storms off. I, or I can't remember what he said, but and like, and then he said, remember when you used to be so sweet? No. <laughs> Jinora said, I, I said no, like, at the exact same time Jinora did. So that was really, really cool. More proof that Jinora is best character. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, me, oh, me, me, me. Oh, yeah, and then throwing the freaking food in the river. I mean, I know if he didn't do that, Iki wouldn't have gotten captured by soldiers, and then, you know, she wouldn't have thought to look in the swamp, but still, why would you throw the food into the river? But isn't that nice to your mom, who made you the, your favorite treat and even wrote you those little notes to my handsome little boy? How sweet. <laughs> what was with that guy? How? Did, why did Kuvira hire him? He's so stupid. Why did Kuvira hire him? <laughs> I was, like, my friend hadn't watched this yet, and we, uh, we were at the school today decorating for homecoming week. Because that's uh, next week for for my school, and we uh, we got there an hour early, and my teach and so we they just said us to work and say um uh ju you just stop but an hour before because we were doing it for bonus points and um uh if 
bonus points were determined on how long you were there and how hard you worked. So we, they, it would be unfair if just the two of us, it literally was just the two of us who were showed up early, um, uh, got extra points for showing up early. So they said you're not allowed to work after 12 o'clock, so, so afternoon. So like, we just went upstairs and we watched this together. And he kept on face palming with that guard. And he even did the Lion King thing, like, I'm surrounded by idiots. Kind of like the Earth Queen did, yeah, you know? I just realized there were two instances with, Lion King, with, with the Lion King when it came down to the Earth Queen. I'm surrounded by idiots. And then the title of her death episode, Long Live the Queen. <laughs> it had to be a Lion King reference. Uh... <laughs> Three, two, one, stop.